Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up timesheets for use within Project Online start to finish. This is a very blank instance of Project Online, no timesheets have ever been created in here. I'm going to show you how to do that. So it is an admin feature, you do need to be logged in as an administrator. When you are logged in as an administrator you'll be able to come into settings, PWA settings, and this is where you can do all your administration as you're probably aware at this point. And what you need to do is set up to time, set up timesheets is actually the first thing is to set time reporting periods. So we need to tell Microsoft Project, Project Online, the intervals in which we want to capture timesheets. So most companies do it week to week, so you fill out your timesheet. Some companies do it every two weeks. All right, so the time reporting periods is what you're going to be setting up one week blocks, two week blocks, etc. Let's take a look at that. So we're going to click on time reporting periods here. And you can see number of periods to be created. So we're going to create you know, a year's worth. And generally you do a year's worth at a time and the administrator comes in towards the end of the year and then creates another year's worth. You could do two or three years as well. There's no stopping you there. Um, when do you want the first period to start? Always do this starting on a Monday. It will default to the day's date. But I'm going to start from, let's say, um, Monday of this week. All right length of standard period in days seven days or you could have 14 days or you want to do monthly whatever the case may be um, i am always going to go with seven you can play around with long longer time sheet time reporting periods if you like prefix right so we're going to see this from an administrative standpoint so we can call this ts and then next time going to be one two three four five right so we can call this timesheet period one you can do a suffix as well, so it'd be TS1 through 52. Pretty simple, I just cre click create bulk. Obviously, when you are creating additional timesheets after the first set, you would start at the next sequence number, which would be 53. Unless you're having a slightly different prefix, maybe TS 2021, 2022, etc. But I usually just go TS one and then I'll adjust the number for the following year so they're all nicely in sequence. So I click create bulk and boom, there we go. So you can see our first timesheet period starts on 131.22 and ends on 26.2022. You see that's that timesheet is open. So you do have the option to come in here and close that which means no changes can possibly be made to that timesheet reporting period. You can also go out to the future if you don't want people accidentally adding time in the future. You can do that here and close those periods. It is a good practice to close the timesheet reporting period once you've kind of like tracked those hours, you've built your Power BI reports, and you've done whatever you want to do with that data. Come in and lock that so that it can't be changed behind the scenes by somebody coming into their timesheet and updating it. That's another admin uh, trick there. So there we go. We have all of our time periods we also got a little bit bleeding into next year as well which is great we save that if you would press cancel you'd lose all that so if you mess around in here don't worry too much you can always just press cancel I'm happy with this I'm gonna save it when I press save I'm in a good spot now what I want to do is make timesheets available for all to use right so by default we don't show timesheets here on the quick launch so I'm gonna come into the quick launch edit in the look and feel and I'm going to check the timesheet checkbox that makes it available for people to see their timesheet so they can then adjust them and I'll press save and close now by default out of the box Microsoft uh, will allow project managers to be able uh, sorry team members to be able to track timesheets if I click on timesheet now it's now created my first timesheet for me. If I had tasks assigned to me, I would be seeing them in here as well. That's not what this is about. Once the timesheet's created, we can then come in and add time to it. One other thing I want to set up for you. Let's go back to PWA settings. In additional server settings, we can come in and I want to come in and 
show you this turn on notification so if you want people to get an email every time they're assigned a timesheet or if a project manager gets an update from a team member you can turn on notifications that they'll get an email every time someone submits a timesheet whatever the case may be that's it thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you set up timesheets for use across all your projects